Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just joking. Welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building Morimoto's 350Z from the Fast and the Furious Toko Drift. And as you can see, this car has already been built and it was one hell of a challenge. Now, if any of you guys have actually seen Tokyo Drift, you'll know that Morimoto's 350Z has a very unique look. And the color of this car was near on impossible to replicate in this game. But I tried my hardest. I tried out loads of different combinations of metallic paints with pearlescence and all that sort of stuff. But um, it was a lot tougher than I thought. So if you guys are intrigued and you want to see exactly what I purchased to put this car together, stick around and we're going to go through each of the categories and I'm going to show you every single option that I chose. Go ahead and hit that like button so we can hack the algorithm and get more views. Thank you. So as always, we started with 100% and body armor. Then we went to the brakes and grabbed the race brakes for the bumper. We went front bumper and we changed that to the track bumper. For the rear bumper, we stayed stock. Then we skipped past the chassis, went to the engine. We didn't worry about the block, the rail covers, the strut brace, but with the engine tunes, we went and got the level four. For the exhausts, I went and got the angled exhausts. We skipped past the front fenders and we went to the hood. Hood catchers, we got the angled hood pins. Then for the hood itself, we went and purchased the street hood. Then we skipped past the horn, went into the interior. We didn't worry about the dash or the doors, but we did change the seats to the pedalistic fiber track seats. Didn't worry about the steering wheel, and we also changed the vol cage to this secondary street half cage. Now for the livery, the most important part of this build, in my opinion, we went and got this Drift Tribe. Like I said at the beginning, it's not identical to what we need, but it is very close. It's just a shame that it changes the whole front end, whereas Morimoto's doesn't cover the front end of the car like this does. So it's a little bit of a shame that Rockstar have just gone way too far with this livery, but it follows a trend of what Rockstar have been doing with this update anyway. They've been giving us all these Fast and the Furious cars and really shoddy liveries. But it just throws back to all the other liveries that I've used in my previous Fast and Furious builds from this update. And other than the DK livery from the other 350Z, which is probably the best one out of the bunch, um, all the other liveries are either non-existent or really poor. But like I always say, it is what it is. There's nothing else we can do about it. At least we've got something in the game. So the Drift Tribe livery is the one you want to purchase. Then we skipped the mirrors and the plate. Then we went into the respray. Now this is the part I had the most trouble with. Like I said at the beginning, I tried different combinations of pearlescent paint um, with different pearlescents. It was crazy. I went with bronze with a bright yellow pearlescent. Then I tried gold. Also tried like beechwood brown or all that sort of stuff. And none of them were actually doing the trick. And to be honest, the, what, the color I've got at the moment isn't exactly what we need either. But in my opinion, it is the closest we're going to get. But if you guys have got a better color combination, let me know in the comments down below because I'll be very intrigued to see what that looks like. Because like I said, I've tried so many different color combinations with different pearlescents. It is crazy just to try and get this color just right. But it's such a, a strange color. It's kind of like a gold with... I don't know, like like a lime green pearlescent in, a, in in the movie, but it's kind of really impossible to get it to look like that in game. Um, but yeah, so if you guys have got any color combinations which is going to get this spot on, let me know in the comments down below because I really struggled with this. Um, so with that being said, what I did decide on was the color to be metal and pure gold. That's the only thing I could come up with for, that actually looked halfway good or halfway close to what we need. So yeah, primary color, metal, pure gold. I done that for the primary and the secondary color. For the roof, we went and got the swept roof. For the side skirts, we got the arrowed skirts. Then we went to the splitter. We went and grabbed the arced splitter. Then for the spoiler, we went and purchased the sprint spoiler. Sun strips we skipped past and with the suspension, we got the competition suspension with the race transmission and turbo tuning. Now the wheels was another tough one because Morimoto has a five spoke, gold in the middle, chrome around the outside. Very similar to what you see right now. Um, but the gold on the wheel color is really weird. It doesn't look like gold. It looks more like an orange or like a bronze. So I didn't go with gold for this, for the wheels. I went with straw brown because I thought that looked a little bit more toned down and a little bit more like gold than what the actual gold color does. You know what I mean? So yeah, straw brown is the color I went with. And for the wheel type, I went into Sport and purchased the Deep 5. 
And then to finish the build off, I went into the windows and purchased the low smoke window tint. So you go my bros, there is Morimoto's Nissan 350Z from the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. And as you can see, when we get into the sunlight, this gold paintwork actually looks so much better than what it does when it's in LS Customs. Um, I don't know what it is. In LS Customs, it looks completely different. Um, when you get it out of there, it looks so much better in my opinion. The color isn't perfect. I know that, I've already said this, um, but the livery isn't perfect. The whole build isn't perfect, um, but it's the closest we've ever had to replicate in this build in GTA. Um, so it'll do for now. Hopefully later on down the line, Rockstar will release maybe a better livery, maybe some more colors. I mean, who knows? I mean, we've never had, I don't think we've ever had any new colors added into the game, so that would be a, a first. Uh, maybe some new wheels, like better suited wheels for it. But, you know, for what we've got today, this is the best I could come up with. I thought I'd put it together because there's been a few people asking for it. And I thought it was a cool build to go ahead and do. I mean, I wasn't really disappointed with it because the previous um, Fast and Furious builds that I've made from this DLC hasn't really excited me all that much. So I didn't really expect much from this one, to be honest. So my hopes weren't too high. So I haven't been too disappointed. But yeah, overall, I think it's a cool build. So with that being said, that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Bread. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, I'm out. Adios. Oh, that's nice. Bread.